<laughs> I've never read this. Isn't it just like soft core erotica with a little bit, bit, bit of BDSM in it? Isn't that the thing? I'll read the uh, from the back cover. Um, from the inside. Yeah, from the inside flap. From the inside flap. Fifty Shades of Grey. When literature student Anastasia Steele interviews successful entrepreneur Christian Grey. She finds him very attractive and deeply intimidating. Unworldly and innocent. Anna is shocked to find she wants this man. And excited when she realizes that Christian wants her too. As they embark on a passionate love affair. Anna discovers more about her own desires as well as the dark secrets Christian keeps hidden away from public view. Fifty shades darker and daunted by the dark secrets of the tormented young entrepreneur Christian Grey. Anna Steele has broken off their relationship. But when Christian proposes a new arrangement, she cannot resist. Soon she is learning more about the harrowing past of her damaged, driven, and demanding Fifty Shades than she ever thought possible. Fifty Shades freed Anastasia Steele. Always knew that... Oh, Fifty Shades freed. Anastasia Steele always knew that loving Christian Grey would not be easy. And being together poses challenges neither of them had anticipated. But finally together, they... Love, love, passion, intimacy, wealth, and a world of infinite possibilities. Then, just when it seemed that they really do have it all, tragedy and fate combine to make Anna's worst nightmares come true. <laughs> oh, oh get, remember to go and get... Um, Get the Brave Browser, boys. Replace all your browsers with the Brave Browser. It's much better. You earn cryptocurrency while well, doing it, boys. You earn bat tokens, which you can transfer into better tokens. Mm. Get the Brave Browser. I recommend. 50 Shades... <clears throat> from the back cover. Yeah, I'll do the back cover. 50 Shades of Grey. 50 Shades of Grey. That's the title. That's why I'm doing it like that. When literature student Anastasia Steele interviews successful entrepreneur Christian Grey, she finds him very attractive and deeply intimidating. Oh, is this the same? Unworldly and innocent, Anna is shocked to find she wants this man, and excited when she realizes that Christian wants her too. As they embark on a passionate love affair, Anna discovers more about her own desires as well as... Sorry, my fire alarm was going off. I don't know why. Everything seems fine. <laughs> I don't know. It's like the building fire alarm. It wasn't actually the normal fire alarm. Um, yeah, if I have to run, I'll have to run. Sorry. <laughs> the machine spirit, yeah, the machine spirit was punishing me. They don't like it. The Mechanicus was, uh, was, was disgusted. <laughs> okay. Where were we? Sorry for that distraction. Is there anything else you want me to read the synopsis for? Who is this woman? A biography. I know the, I know the books. I've never, I never read the books or it's in the movie or whatever. Let's read her biography and then we'll get back into it because uh, this is too much fun. E.L. James is an incurable romantic and a self-confessed fangirl. After 25 years of working in television... She decided to pursue a childhood dream and write sto- a childhood dream of this shit. <laughs> Did something happen to her? She decides to pursue a childhood dream and write stories that readers could take to their hearts. The result was the controversial and censorious romance of Fifty Shades of Grey and its two sequels, Fifty Shades Darker and Fifty Shades Freed. In 2015, she published the bestseller Grey, the story of Fifty Shades of Grey from the, perspe- from the perspective of Christian Grey. And in 2017, the chart topping Darker, the second part of the Fifty Shades story from Christian's point of view. Her books were 
have been published in 50 languages and have sold more than 150 million copies. Are you fucking joking? <laughs> hey, you know, people want it. People want to, you know, I guess people want to get off, don't they? E.L. James has been recognised as one of the Time magazine's most influential people in the world. That's the current state of human civilization, boys and girls. That's the current... A, a purveyor of erotica is uh, one of the most important people in the world. And Publisher Weekly's Person of the Year. Again, just an indictment of the world. <laughs> Fifty Shades of Grey stayed on the New York Bet Times bestsellers list for 133 consecutive weeks. Okay, that's enough. That's enough. Seriously, it started as Twilight fan fiction then became its own thing. Oh, no way. A senpai. <laughs> senpai Desu. Yes. 